I'm KG Styles with your Astro Highlights brought to you by PurePlanEssentials.com Organic Aromatherapy. On April 4th, 2011, it's a 444 day. At 6.36 a.m. Pacific, the planet Neptune takes a brief swim in its home sign of Pisces until August 4th when it returns to Aquarius for its last goodbye. Then in February 2012, Neptune re-enters Pisces for Pisces for its long sojourn of 13 plus years. What does Neptune station and its home sign of Pisces over the next 13 years mean for you? Remember, you can always choose through your awareness to activate the positive or higher side of a vibration with a transit, as well as the negative or lower side of the vibration of a planet's transit through a sign. It's through your awareness and the willingness to observe life circumstances and make conscious, life-affirming choices rather than blindly reacting to your life circumstances stances from old story paradigms and conditioned mind patterns that you can choose to experience the positive side of Neptune's transit through Pisces. On today's show, I'll give you helpful tips for how to navigate the waters ahead and stay aware, as well as how to recognize when you're resisting the opportunities Neptune brings. Neptune is the higher octave of the love planet Venus. Neptune is all accepting and unconditional in its love, representing the romantic and inspired dreamer who has no sense of limits or boundaries. Neptune rules all things watery and fluid like gases, radiation, the sea, rivers, lakes, and streams. It also rules the film industry, science fiction and fantasy, the arts, music, and all creative and artistic endeavors. Escapism through drugs, both legal and illegal, can be on the rise, as well as meditation and spirituality to develop one's spiritual nature, which is a more positive expression of the Neptunian force within each of us. The negative side of a Neptune transit, if we are resisting opening up to aligning with truth in our spiritual essence by contemplating our choices for action about what will bring balance, may manifest as torrential rains, floods, tsunamis, and energy, energy leaks of all kinds in your personal life as well as on a global level. Neptune's transit through Pisces is excellent for becoming aware about sustainability issues and making adjustments to bring balance, harmony, and peace, all positive means for integrating the Neptune influence in our lives. If we make these adjustments and willingly balance our inflow and outflow of resources of all kinds, physical, emotional, spiritual, energetic, and psychic, The transit will go more smoothly for us as individuals, which can have far-reaching impact for us globally since we are all connected and more powerfully so than ever with Neptune's transit through its home sign of Pisces. However, the cautionary tale as we move further into the heart of the Neptune transit in Pisces is that the intensity for making internal and external course corrections will continually get amped up if we resist making necessary changes. Neptune does not recognize borders or boundaries, and during this transit, we will see increased globalization and a natural movement toward perceiving that we are one world family, and focus more on on our commonality and shared resources. The negative side of this is a loss of individuality and healthy functioning boundaries, which could be activated if we are motivated primarily by lower emotions of fear and greed that results in struggle and confusion about what's mine and what's yours. Neptune's transit of Pisces is a time to connect with your inner divine guidance and with your soul qualities and values and to align with others at a soul level to cultivate your finer character qualities as a spiritual being having an earthly experience, and to share with others from a more refined level. A mainstream interest in spirituality, not religion, but spirituality, will further increase our psychic faculties for intuition, clairsentience, clairaudience, clairvoyance, and claircognizance will be further activated, and mediums and psychic readers will become mainstream for consulting to help you Align with your truth and access your own divine life essence and become clear about your inner guidance for wise choices to make in your life. This is the more positive, healthy use of a psychic reader or intuitive, not to use psychics as a means to escape from taking responsibility for making your own choices or to give someone else power over you or weaken your own personal will forces. 
To activate the positive side of these beautiful and exquisite Neptune spiritual love vibrations, stay grounded with a healthy routine of diet and exercise. Spend time in nature. Have a regular spiritual practice to clear your heart, mind, and soul. Compassion, releasing judgment, and practicing forgiveness are also key elements for navigating this powerful Neptune influence at this time. I highly recommend performing the Ho'oponopono forgiveness ritual as needed. You can download it for free off my website at kgstyles.com. Go to Healing Tools, CDs, and Podcasts for your free download. A regular practice of meditation will strengthen your ability to observe your mind and guide it gently to focus on what you desire to manifest in your life. Neptune Energies allows you to access your unconscious mind and integrate your shadow material easily now to become whole, healed, and healthy. The sun signs being most impacted during Neptune's transit of Pisces are those with sun or ascendant in Pisces who could potentially become fully self-realized during this transit or, on the other extreme, become lost in fantasy, illusion, confusion, fear, escapism, drugs, or alcohol. During its transit of Pisces in Neptune, of Pisces, Neptune trines the water signs of Scorpio and Cancer. This is wonderful news for Scorpios and Cancers, as they'll have easy times ahead, beneficial rewards, and good fortune over the next 13 plus years. Make the most of your good fortune, Scorpios and Cancers, by sharing it with others who are less fortunate during these times, which will make the results of your good fortune lasting and truly rewarding. Neptune will form a sextile to the Earth signs Taurus and Capricorn, giving both Taurians and Capricorns opportunities for love and spiritual connections of all kinds are especially highlighted. Lasting soulmate bonds are highly likely during this transit for both Taurus and Capricorn. Neptune forms an opposition to the Earth sign Virgo, which will create breakthrough opportunities in an area of your life, Virgo, that has long been resistant to change, creating illumination and profound new spiritual freedom. For the other astrological sun signs, the opportunity, opportunities for spiritual awakening are likely to come through more challenging aspects, such as a square that can feel frustrating and filled with conflict. Your guidance is to stay relaxed, trust the process that is opening you to new levels of your spiritual being, and opening your heart to love at deeper levels than you have previously ever been open to, which will change you and your world forever. With Neptune's transit of Pisces, the power of love is opening and healing your heart.